Okay, so for part C, they've asked us to find the the integral, the definite integral of 3 to the power of x plus 1 plus x with respect to x, the area under this curve between 2 and 4, using the answer to part B in order to do so. Now, the answer to part B, all right, you can see that there's a difference, okay? So it looks like it's a slight difference, but it makes a bit of a, a big difference, actually, okay? So what I need to do to use my answer to part B to answer this question is, is I need to um, try to express this such that it's expressed in terms of uh, what we already found. So I can just replace this part with 72.6 and then, um, you know, deal with the rest of it in another way. So that's what I need to do. And one of the things we need to realize is 3 to the power of x plus 1. Its origin is 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1. When you multiply two numbers with the same base, you add their powers. So it's like working backwards. This is like 3 times 3 times 3 to the power of x. That's basically what this part is equal to. So if I rewrite this as 3 times 3 to the power of x, and then I got plus x dx. Okay, it's, it's looking a bit more similar to this. Okay, now I need to keep everything the same value as this, but I need to have to incorporate that into this expression. Okay, now th the problem we have here is the 3 is multiplying the 3x and not the x. I can't say this is 3 times, you know, all of that. If I, if I multiply all of this by 3, I don't get the same as this. I'll get 3 times the power of x plus 3x. So what I could do is, is I could do the following. I could think of this as being 3 times 3 to the power of x plus x. Now that's going to give me the same as this, all right, except I'm going to have a 3x instead of a 1x. I want to have, you know, 1x. So if I take away 2x from this, okay, this will give me 3 times 3 to the power of x plus 3x minus 2x, which would be the same value as that exactly. Okay, so that is something which we can work with because this 3 to the power of x plus x is the same as what we found earlier, and we know it's um, the approximate, you know, um, integral of it, 72.6. We know, we know that value, so I can now deal with the rest of it. Okay, so what I can do here is I can say, okay, I have the integral between 2 and 4 of 3 times 3 to the power of x plus x, and I can split this up into a separate integral. So minus 2x with respect to x between 2 and 4. So I can, I know what this is. This is basically 3 times the integral between 4 and 2 of 3 to the power of x plus x. Okay, with respect to x, which we already found. This part we already know. This is the answer to part B. Okay, 72.6. Minus the integral between the limits of 4 and 2 of 2x with respect to x. So this will give me 3 times 72.6. I know that the value of this is 72.6. The value of this is 72.6. So 3 times that. Minus, now I've got to integrate 2x, okay, with respect to x, and then substitute 4 and 2 in there. So 2x integrated gives you 2x squared over 2, which is x squared, x squared. And then I've got to substitute 4 and 2 into there, and that should give me my answer. That's going to give me 3 times 72.6. So 72.6 times 3, which gives you 217. 0.8 and minus and I'm going to have to put 4 into there so you're going to have 4 times 4 16 and I have minus 2 into there which is 4 so that's going to be 217.8 minus 12 which is 205.8 and that is the answer to part C okay it's a bit of a tough one actually but hopefully it's understandable for you so I basically have to modify this to make it in terms of what we found earlier, okay? 
and you know 3 to the power of x plus x okay so first of all 3 to the power of x plus 1 gives you 3 times 3 to the power of x all right now I have to multiply if I multiply all of this by 3 I've got 2x too many so I take away 1 well, I'll take away 2x and then that expression is the same as that expression and then I can just integrate um, this the part that's extra and what we had found already you can just multiply it by 3 and then subtract 